Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome to another brand new episode. So today's episode is going to be relatively interesting and there's going to be a personal touch to it because I really just want to talk about several middle class habits that I've seen around from my time in corporate America um, that I feel is keeping a lot of people inside of the rat race. So if you are someone that's currently inside of the corporate rat race, if you're thinking about getting out of the corporate rat race, or maybe some you someone that has already gone out of the corporate rat race, but you're just interested in hearing a video about about whether or not you can relate, then welcome aboard because today's the video for you because we're gonna be talking about several middle-class habits and specifically habits that I don't think a lot of people are talking about right now, which is why I say, even if you've seen another video about this, what'll hopefully make this one special is that it's going to come from the heart in the sense that it's going to come from a lot of personal experiences that I faced about what I've seen in terms of habits that I think is keeping a lot of people inside of the rat race. So that being said, let's just get this video started. But as always, if you guys enjoy this, you guys know the same drill, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And with that said, let's get this video started. So the first middle class habit to really share that I think is keeping a lot of people inside of the rat race is really about becoming too comfortable at their particular jobs right now. Now, I've seen this as a very, very common occurrence that there are some people that I think that absolutely do not like their jobs in any way, shape or form. But most people that I've talked to, interestingly enough, I think have actually found their jobs relatively mellow in the sense that their jobs where it's like they don't necessarily hate it. That's why they're staying there, but they don't necessarily love it. It's kind of a job where it's OK, it's tolerable, but it definitely leaves a lot more to be desired. This is one of the most common habits that I think keeps a lot of of people in the rat race because when you're inside of the rat race or the corporate world and you're working a job you kind of end up trapped in the sense that you're kind of in a weird situation where it's like you don't want to leave your job because it's tolerable and you're making money from it and you know it's obviously going to be a challenge to get out of that but at the same time you also don't necessarily want to stay in it for too long but you just don't know where to actually pivot and go into because you're kind of now stuck in the rat race and this happens is very very common when you become too comfortable. And I think that's one of the biggest habits is that it's really, really important to be able to kind of open yourself up to potentially leave that comfort zone. And it's when you leave that comfort zone, potentially, just potentially, because there's no guarantees to what's going to happen, but potentially something even better can hopefully come into the door as well. And I think that's the first habit to really be able to share. And even when it comes to progressing in your career, there's a lot of say that in general these days, it's a lot better to bounce around jobs because when you bounce around jobs, you're more likely to kind of build up than to just try to stay in the same job and try to build up internally. But this is just something that obviously varies and depends on the job to job and career to career path. But I've just found in most situations, it's been relatively true. Now, the second habit that I found that a lot of people sometimes commit when they're in the middle class bracket, you know, and following the rat race and all that stuff is really about buying to impress instead of buying to enjoy specifically for yourself. And this is a very, very common thing is, is that I think a lot of times people sometimes get trapped with the idea that they need to impress, right? They need to impress their girl. They need to impress their guy. They need to impress people in society. They need to impress, you know, people that are around them. So what they end up doing is that they start to kind of inflate their lifestyle, buying things that they either don't necessarily need. And in some cases don't even necessarily care too much about the actual product. They just want to buy it to impress a particular someone. And this is a very big, big, big habit that should be avoided. Because again, I think one of the most important things is that the goal should not be to necessarily look rich, but rather to be rich. And if you want to be rich, then it's very, very important to try to save and invest your money as much as possible. And one of the ways is to trying to live relatively frugally and not buying to impress, but rather buying to enjoy. I think that it's really important to sometimes spend money so, you know, it's not something that we're not trying to encourage people to save every last dollar, although you can do that if you want to. But what it is to say is, is that it's important to try to spend money on the things that you actually really, really genuinely deeply care about. So whatever that is, it depends on the person. For example, for me, I really love to go to concerts, you know, so I spend not a lot, 
but I do spend a reasonable amount of money. And by reasonable amount, I really just am saying just a fraction of what I'm making um, on concerts because I really enjoy. So it's not like we're spending nothing, but it's more of like we're just spending very minimally and very conservatively with the money that we have to really be able to enjoy ourselves. And I think that's the second takeaway or is the second habit to really, really avoid and be cautious of. Now, the third habit is one that I've seen a lot of people do, and I don't see a lot of people talking about, which is why I guess that's why this name of this video is middle class habits that no one really speaks about, or certainly not a lot of people speak about, is really about growing up too fast or taking actions to grow up prematurely. This is something that I've actually noticed across the board around a lot of people, even in my own personal life. And it's really about when people make drastic decisions to kind of upgrade their lifestyle prematurely before they're ready really ready for it what are examples of this could be for example like people that decide to get married people that end up having children people that buy cars expensive cars people that buy houses and homes before they're actually physically ready to be able to do so but even more specifically ready on a financial basis and standpoint this video is not necessarily to say that if you end up marrying early or if you end up making these decisions early that it's not a good idea but what it is to say is that if you want to be someone that's relatively financially well off, then it's really, really important that you have to be conservative with your decisions about how you spend your money. And a lot of these experiences, such as like having children, buying a home, buying a car, getting married, you know, starting a family, they're very, very expensive experiences and they can make a very, very massive impact to your lifestyle, especially if you are someone that is not particularly ready to make these decisions at this time. There's a lot of people I know that got married out of so Now there's people I know that got married out of love. And I think that that's really, really awesome. And that's really, really great. But there's also a lot of people I think that made these decisions out of pressure. You know, they gave in because maybe their significant other wanted it. They, you know, gave into social pressure. Maybe their parents wanted it. And they just knew deep down inside they were not ready, not necessarily socially, but certainly at the very least financially, especially when you make these moves very, very young, because when you're young, you probably don't have as much money and you certainly don't have as much life experience, even if you are someone that was able to inherit or gain a lot of money, it's really about the experience side. And that's something that money cannot buy. Because as they say is that money can buy more money, you know, because again, when you have money, you can invest it to get even more money. But one of the things is that you can never buy time and you can never buy age. And you, in many cases, cannot buy experience. You can buy experiences, but you cannot buy life experiences and difficulties. And that's one of the biggest things I think that's also very, very important to really get out there that I don't see a lot of people talk about, but at least hopefully if you're in this video, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys will be able to take it away. Now, the fourth habit that I've seen a lot of people that keep them inside of the rat race is really about relying on only one source of income. This is something I actually have heard some people talk about, but I want to give my own personal take about this is really because I think a lot of times people and most people that find themselves stuck in the rat race, one of the reasons they end up being stuck in the rat race is because they only have one source of income. So when you have one source of income, it's a very dangerous situation situation to be in because if you lose your job, all of that money, all of that is cut off potentially. And so it's really, really important to develop habits of trying to build more than one source of income. Now, I do think maybe I wanna make a future video talking about several sources of income and ways you can build that. So if that's something of interest and you haven't done so already, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so when that comes out, you guys can hopefully get notified about this. But I think that being able to do this, this is one of the most important things to really be able to have um, which is really about having multiple sources of income. So if one of them falls through, you still have another one to back yourself out. And that's one of the biggest things that's going to help you to get out of the rat race. Because if you fall out of the rat race, whether this is by choice or whether this is because you lose your job, now you have something to maybe help at least cover some of the bills and some of the expenses, even if it's not a lot, but it's still at least something to at least take care of at this particular time period, if it ever ends up going through like that. And I think that's that's probably the thing. Um, and then probably finally, the last thing that I think is the last habit that I see a lot of middle class people take that I think keeps them inside of the rat race is really about thinking instead of taking action. 
that's one of the biggest things is, is that there's a lot of people and I've seen this, this is something that comes from personal observation in my own personal life and experience. There's a lot of people that will talk about trying to get out of the rat race, but will never actually take the action to physically get out of the rat race. And I think that's something that I've seen is a very, very huge habit that I don't think a lot of people are talking about. That's so important to share because if you want to someday leave the rat race, you can't just necessarily think about the. It's important to think about the rat race so you have a plan to get out of the rat race, but ultimately at the end of the day, you cannot necessarily panic. You cannot just be resilient or what's the right word is the resistance to making these changes. You have to actually physically take action and try to do these particular, you know, try to implement these plans, implement these actions to actually try to get out. And it's when you recognize that sometimes it's fear, you know, hesitation and things that are holding you back. Once you can overcome that as difficult as it is, that is when you can potentially now find yourself escaping and getting out of the rat race. And I think that's probably the last thing that I really want to share inside of this video. So as always, hopefully that covers five things in terms of five middle class habits that keeps people inside of the rat race. If you are someone that's guilty of this, feel free to comment down below. If you're not guilty of this, you can also feel free to comment down personal thoughts or other habits that you've observed as well. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching as always to the end. If you guys made it to the end, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, smash the like button. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, try to stay employed. But if you have to leave, then try to find a second source of income to cover. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.